Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about Airbnb system design. It will be useful for your technical interview. I'll be explaining high level system design. And then let's see what are the different types of AWS resources used in the system architecture. The disclaimer is this application is little complex. In few minutes, I will not be able to complete the entire design. Hence, I'll be presenting my understanding. If you have any further questions, please comment. What is exactly Airbnb means? Airbnb is a software application. It helps people to rent out the spare rooms to the traveler. For example, there is a landlord who has a three bedroom apartment and you would like to rent out the spare rooms to the traveler. So the landlord connect to the Airbnb application and creates a profile. And once profile is created, he is creating the rental object into the system by giving the details like location, the facilities available, the price and the photos. Now the rental object details are available to the application. On the other side, a traveler is looking for a room to stay. So the traveler connects to Airbnb application and then creates a profile and searches for rooms. Once he found the room to stay, he pays and confirm the booking. This is the basic use case in Airbnb application. Now let's see the system design. During the technical interview, I will start designing this application with simple steps. For example, the host can create the profile and the rental object details using the supply services. From the supply services, it will be asynchronously processed and given to demand services. On the other side, the traveler can connect to the demand services, create a profile, search for the rooms and then do the payment. Initially, I will start with this simple step. Now let's see the internal components of this design. In this slide, I'm going to talk about different components and its responsibilities. If you see here, the right hand side components are related to the supply services and the left hand side components are related to the demand services. The flow here is using the host service, the landlord is going to create the rental object details. The host service is going to persist the rental object details in the database and it will upload the rental object photos to the AWS S3 buckets. And then it will also post the rental object details to an AWS queue so that it will be available to the other part of the system. Now the update service is going to pick up the message from the AWS SQS queue and then it's going to process it. Once the processing is done, it's going to store the data in the Elasticsearch database. What is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch is a highly scalable open source full text search database engine where we can store the document semi-structured data into it. It will be easy for us to store the data and search high volumes of data in Elasticsearch database. So it's going to help the traveler to search for rooms from this database. On the other side, the traveler is going to connect to the system using Route 53, which is a domain name system. And then he's going to connect to the CloudFront which is a CDN, Content Delivery Network. What is Content Delivery Network? CDN helps to keep the static content closer to the user's location so that it can increase the performance of the application. So CDN means keeping the static content closer to the user. To handle the user traffic, I shall use the load balancer so that you can distribute the traffic to different services. And then different types of services are running inside the EC2 or we can also use Kubernetes to manage the microservices. The traveler will be using the search service to search for rooms from the database. And once he found the room, he'll be using the payment service to do the payment. And the guest service is useful for profile management where we can create the profile and manage it. And, and finally, the auto scaling group. Based on the traffic, we can scale up or scale down the microservices services for that we can include the auto scaling group so this is the high level system design i can think of during the interview so in this slide we're going to see what are the different types of aws resources we have used in the current system design elastic search kubernetes easy to s3 bucket load balancer sqs route 53 amazon rds auto scaling group and cloud friend and finally CloudWatch. I've used very less number of resources in the current design because it's a high level. It is possible to use more resources, but for the high level design, I would like to stick with these number of resources. Friends, so far we have seen the high level design of Airbnb application. Hope this information is useful for your interview. Thank you so much for your support and all the best for your career. Thank you. Mm -hmm.